Hi, this is Alan K. Manning. I'm the essential oils guy, and I'll be your instructor for part one of class one, what are essential oils? First of all, let me thank you for your interest in essential oils and for taking time out to attend this class. The purpose of this class is twofold. First, to educate you about the power of essential oils, and secondly, we want to empower you so that you have more control over your health care and the health care of those that you care about the most. I want to show you also how to have safer, cheaper, and more effective health care. I, I want you to have the confidence that you can make a difference in your health personally and in those that are around you. You may be dealing with a chronic health condition of some kind and are looking for a more natural way to address that problem. Uh, you may be like the woman that I met recently who has a young son who has to use an inhaler at least twice a day because of his asthma. Or on the other hand, you may be like the uh, older gentleman that I met who has been battling with uh, diabetes for 20 years and through the use of essential oils and food-based vitamins and minerals was able to get his glucose and blood sugars down into the normal range. Uh, let me make a disclaimer here. We don't cure, treat, or diagnose any type of illness or disease. Our purpose is to let the body heal itself. Any change that you make in any uh, prescribed medication should be at the direction of your doctor or other healthcare professional. First of all, let's uh, define what essential oils are. They are plant extracts, and they can come from the leaf of the plant. For example, uh, peppermint comes from the leaf, at least the very best peppermint comes just from the leaf, not from the leaf and from the stems. Rose oil comes from the rose petals themselves, and that's one reason why rose oil is so expensive takes a lot of rose petals to uh, process to get enough rose oil to sell commercially. Some essential oils come from the bark of trees. For example, uh, cinnamon oil comes from the inner bark of the cassia tree. And sandalwood also comes from the wood, the actual wood of the sandalwood tree. These liquid extracts are uh, derived from a process of distillation. Uh, it's more of an art form than anything else. It's important to have the right temperature, the right pressure, and the perfect conditions. You want to harvest uh, the native plants at the right time. Uh, lavender is a very common essential oil. There is a thriving lavender oil industry here in the United States. It's based in the Pacific Northwest in the state of Washington in the Dungeness Valley and also along the Columbia River in Oregon. But the finest lavender essential oil comes from southern France, from the mountain areas of southern France. And the reason why is because of the climate, the soil, and the growing conditions. And that's something that's very important when you begin sourcing essential oils. You want to know where those oils came from and how they were processed. You don't want to purchase essential oils that have been diluted with other oils or that have chemicals uh, or some type of pesticide residue in those essential oils. And the way to avoid that is to purchase essential oils from those companies that do extensive testing. In our next video, we'll be discussing how to apply essential oils. So I invite you to stay tuned and click on part two.